Hey guys, just wanted to take a second and give a big shout out to one of our sponsors today, and that's going to be Advanta Clean of the Tri-State. Advanta Clean of the Tri-State provides essential indoor air quality services to residential and commercial customers. Things such as mold removal, water damage, dryer vent cleaning, and air duct cleaning, along with other various things that they can provide you with on a residential or commercial level. You can find them at their uh, address, 4446 13th Street, Ashland, Kentucky, and the owners of this great establishment are Joel and Pam Dooley. You can give them a call at 606 331 Five zero zero one. They do free estimates, so all you have to do is schedule an appointment with them, and they'll get you taken care of. You can also check out their website at www.advanaclean.com slash ashland-ky. So once again, you can give them a call at 606-331-5001. You can stop on their Facebook page, and that's Advanta Clean of the Tri-State. So be sure to go check them out. We really appreciate them. We love them over there. Really appreciate you guys. Next sponsor we have today is the Huntington Web Solutions. J.D. Simpkins has over 10 years' experience with building custom websites and custom web applications. He has a strong background in sales and marketing, so he doesn't just build websites. He realizes it's all about the bottom dollar. He will learn about your business and work with you to actually put your website to work. A website without targeted traffic is kind of pointless, honestly, and you've got to have people looking to buy your product or service visiting that site, and JD knows this. That's what separates Huntington Web Solutions from other web development companies out there. If you're looking to have a website built or you already have one and you want to get some traffic, you know, you want some targeted traffic coming to that website, just give JD a shout. He'll take care of you guys. You can call him at 3 Three zero four seven three zero eight five zero two, or you can go visit his website at HuntingtonWebSolutions.com to get a free quote on your project. So once again, that's J D Simpkins. You can add him on Facebook, or you can give him a call at three zero four seven three zero eight five zero two, or once again, visit his website at Huntington. WebSolutions.com, H-U-N-T-I-N-G-T-O-N-W-E-B-S-O-L-U-T-I-O-N-S.com. Thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead and get this episode kicked off, baby. Oh, oh. It's for the record, son. Yeah. 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 What's up, everybody? It's your boy Nugs B, episode 30 for the record, hashtag TogetherFTR. I am joined by the magical Eric Lambert in the building, baby. How you doing today? What's up? Doing good, bro. Good to hear, my friend. Good to hear. We're going to kick this episode off, as usual, with some entertainment history. But before we start, I want to say sorry that we have been not doing as many episodes lately. Everybody's been busy. A lot of things are going on this summer. Uh, but we're back to it weekly. Sometimes we can maybe get two in a week. We'll see what we can do. But we'll go ahead and get this one kicked off. So, August 1st, 1981. MTV goes on the air, bringing music videos to the masses, at least the ones with cable. So do you remember when MTV was really music videos and not Teen Mom? Yeah, dude, this was, it, it that, was killer. That, it was a good time. It was like, killer. As I a kid, the, like, it was my favorite thing to watch. I caught the end of it. Yeah. Like I remember there being like... 
I don't know, like, there was some shows that were coming on MTV, but they were still showing music videos when I was really young. Right, maybe catch, like, late at night or late yeah, morning yeah. kind of stuff, yeah. Definitely morning. I definitely remember in the morning it's not specifically. not the same anymore, man. I, I want my MTV, you know? Nothing, bro. They don't, I, mean, I want my MTV. <laughs> but they, they really don't. They don't show things like they used to, man. Nah. It's all... You know, whatever TV shows, which there's a couple good shows that came through MTV. Yeah. There definitely, you know, were and still is, but, you know, still miss the music videos, man. Oh, yeah. Miss them. You know, MTV Raps, dude, that, that kind of exposed me to For a sure. lot of Yeah, lot MTV of Raps was awesome, I wasn't awesome, getting dude. in Eastern Kentucky, Was you there know? a couple hosts on that? Or yeah, was there's it, been uh, several. Okay, there's okay, I was several. about to say, because I remember there like, being different, like, shots of different hosts yeah. and things oh, like yeah. that on MTV Raps. Pretty cool, man. A little nostalgia for you guys. Uh, August 1st, 2014, the movie Guardians of the Galaxy opens in America, reviving 70, uh, 70s favorites like Hooked on a Feeling and Come and Get Your Love. That's what I'm talking about, dude. I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. Guardians of the Galaxy is probably my favorite movie out of the MCU. And when I say movie, I mean overall as a movie. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, in my opinion, are better movies than any other MCU movie that's came out. They're not my favorite. When I say my favorite, I mean like Civil War, you know, right. Winter, Winter right. Soldier. You know, like yeah. those were like just so good. The man. action. Like so good, yeah. seriously. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy, you have to go Gotta check that it. out. It is seriously so good. 1 and 2. Uh, I two's didn't on care Netflix for 2 right as now. much. Really? I love to Kurt me, Russell. it was all about that soundtrack, dude. Yeah, that's true. The soundtrack, the soundtrack number on the first one was, so one was good. amazing. The yeah. second one, there was like two or Wasn't three really good. good songs. It was okay. Brandy's a good song. Yeah. You know, there was a couple good ones, but that, you're right, bro. The the ratio in comparison was just not what it needed to be, honestly. Nah, it was nah, just not there. That's good. August 1st, 1990. After writing Blaze of Glory for the film, John Bon Jovi makes his acting debut in Young Guns, Young Guns 2, playing an inmate who gets shot. Shout out to John Bon Jovi, first of all. Second of all, Young Guns 1 and 2 are some of my favorite like Dude, Western are movies. Amazing movies. Dude, they're so good. Everybody always talk about like Tombstone and those. Tombstone old, was good. For like, yeah, they are. But Young Tombstone Guns was good. is where it was at. Man. Oh, that was like man. the first big like modern exactly. Western. Modern, bro. You, I mean, you're you're talking the Emilio Estevez, yeah. maybe. Yeah, Lou get, Diamond Phillips. First time you get away from Kiefer Sutherland. Uh, Kiefer Sutherland, God. he's killing that Doc. Doc, he's baby. Great. God, great, he was man. so good, man. Yeah. I loved it, dude. Yeah. Regulators. First time you get away from like the Duke, you know. Yeah, dude. You yeah, finally get sure. away from that, going some young people. It was killing. Some younger cats in in yeah. the mix was definitely what was needed for westerns. I feel oh, yeah. like. I mean, Tombstone oh, yeah. was sick, dude. Don't dude, get me Tombstone wrong. Tombstone was great. It yeah, was really, yeah. it really yeah. was good. Uh, what was uh, another good one? Was Three Ten to Yuma? Oh, that was dude, that's a, a killer, killer one too. Movie. That's one that like nobody's heard of. Though. Yeah, dude. You want to talk about? I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily consider it a western, but I would. Yeah. Uh, the Last of the Dogmen. You remember that? Yeah. Dude, it's when been he, a he, yeah, had, he yeah. had the blue healer yep, zip. Yep. Yeah, dude. That was awesome. Whoever hasn't seen that, they got to go check that or out how about, immediately. How about Will Smith and Wild Wild West? Oh, yeah. Totally kidding. Best <laughs> Western, bro. Best Western ever with Will Smith, man. No, that movie was corny. It was good when I was a kid, though. It was horrible. Like, I thought it was, it was real funny horrible. when I was a kid, but as I got older, I was like, oh, yeah, this is yeah, awful. Trash. But and like I said, Last of the Dog Men, one of my favorite like Western, Native American movies. Um,. And Young Guns, bro. Those are probably, like, yeah. those are my ones. Oh, like, yeah. Straight oh, up, yeah. dude. I love Young Guns. It's Kiefer Sutherland's one of my favorite actors, too, oh, man. Yeah. He's, everything he's in He's is wonderful, great. man. He really is, dude. He's killer. Uh, Lost Boys. Yeah, Lost Boys was 24. Amazing. Dude, 24, 24 was great. Have was you lit. seen uh, Designated Survivor? No. Is that is it a series? Yeah, I feel like I've seen the trailer. Check it out. It looked it looked pretty good, man. I love Kiefer. He's it's, legit. It actually goes along with stuff I taught back in the day. Really, like about that how is like awesome, if man. the president dies and all the whole cabinet and floor orders yeah. the session dies, what happens? Wow, cool. that's it's crazy, cool. man. That is crazy. Uh, and the last thing for entertainment history. The most important. It, yeah, this is the most important. On August first. 1942, Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead is born in San Francisco, California. Happy birthday, Jerry. Happy birthday, Jerry. Everybody you. needs to hashtag on this. Happy birthday, Jerry, because it is our man's birthday. Rest in peace to him. He would have been 77, right? 77. Yeah, 77 years old yep. today. So happy birthday, Jerry. He probably still be rocking it oh, out. Oh, he'd be too, killing man. it, son. Killing it. I uh, got some health tips today, guys. So be sure to include Greek yogurt, sauerkraut, kefir. Speaking of the kefir, uh, or foods high in fiber in your diet. Be good to your gut. You need to take care of your gut. Eat these things, and it'll you know 
make you perform better in life. You'll be able to, you won't feel so fatigued from all the poison you're drinking and eating and stuff like that. Eat these things, you know, and they'll take care of you. It's not going to, you know, cure cancer, but it will help you feel better, you know, when you change your diet and such. Uh, well, next like the thing. yin and yang of health. You're telling good stuff. I'm over here drinking that dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm what not to do, people. Uh, so next thing I got is most people save their veggies for dinner, but it's healthful to think outside the cereal bowl and veg out at breakfast. For example, add a sliced tomato to your cheese sandwich or some mushrooms to your eggs. Yeah. Pretty solid. I don't like tomatoes, good. but I will definitely get down with some diced tomatoes in yeah. some like an omelet or something, yeah. you know, or maybe just like a – a good, you know, couple different eggs like with some tomatoes, nice tomatoes and cottage cheese for breakfast. It's really, really good. I don't like cottage cheese, man. It's never really been my thing. Uh, my with dad loved to eat peaches with sauce. it and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like weird, like really. Yeah, people strange, throw weird man. stuff in cottage cheese. It's weird, but I love it. So that wraps it up for the health tips of the day, my friends. Got one fact for you all today, which I thought was really cool that I was not actually aware of. Uh, Theodore and Franklin Roosevelt share their name, but yet they are distantly related. While many Americans may assume that President Franklin D. Roosevelt was the son of Theodore Roosevelt, this was not true. The two former presidents who led the country three decades apart were actually fifth cousins. So I thought that was a pretty interesting thing to lay on some people. You know, I wasn't even aware of that myself. I thought, yeah. I, I thought they were father and son. I really did. Really? I, I were like maybe grandpa, you know, yeah. like I thought that too, but they weren't. You want to know who else was related to Franklin D. Franklin D. Roosevelt? His wife, Eleanor. <laughs> Legit. Check it out. Really? Yeah. Are you being... Uh, no, they're uh, like oh. second or third cousins, though. Oh, gross. Dude, I thought yeah. you were just being funny. No. Oh, my God. No. Oh, we got to look this up, people. This is bad stuff right now. Come on now. We're, we're talking about some horrible things going Somebody on. Somebody fact check me and tell if I'm wrong, yeah, we're but I'm pretty we're talking, sure We're, we're right. talking about some bad stuff, man. We're talking about some bad stuff. That's hilarious, dude. That is crazy. But, I mean, it's not unheard of for humans to do that. No. We do it with horses and we do it with dogs. Second or third cousin, I mean. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, you know. As long as it doesn't come from the same womb, you know, yeah, you'll be okay. I mean, back in... <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Back in the day, too, you got to think your whole world of who you're exposed to yeah, is a lot true. smaller than that's it is true. now. You know? You know, and another point is, like, think about, like, that, that. It also goes along with, like, bullying in school. So, like, think about it. Like, this, this comparison is, like, you know, back in, like, even my generation, you yeah. know, like, straight up. I remember before cell phones. I remember, like, yeah. the big cell phones and stuff. So all you have was a landline phone. When you go home, you're going away from all the bullying. Yeah. You don't have to deal with it. Yeah. Now, you can't get it away won't from it. leave you alone. Social media, bro. Yeah. People come to your house. People will take yeah. pictures of you. They'll post things on yep. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever, bro, and they'll make fun of you forever. And yeah. that's why you got more suicides yep. now. You know, there's more suicide. The suicide rate, like the ratio, is higher than the vehicular deaths in America now. Yeah. How does that even make sense, bro? That is crazy. I don't know, bro. You just made this whole thing dark. We're talking yeah, about FDR. Just... <laughs> you just rained on the parade, bro. I rain on things, okay, people? I'm Dang. horrible. I'm a horrible person. I got off topic. Um, <laughs> but it, it's the truth, you know? Like, uh, I, I got to spread some awareness to, like, I feel for the kids now who right, really right. can't get away from it. I mean, I was it's never true. bullied, so I wasn't worried about it. Doesn't it doesn't stop. But yeah. it doesn't stop now. It's like, you know, and like, that's what you're saying. I got bullied when I was a kid, dude. But when I went home, it was like. Done. It's over. It's done. I go you to do my whatever house. You want. I, I chill with my people. Yeah, I got worried about the games yeah. or whatever. You I know, got my like, people that actually did, was that cool like with me. You. you know? Yeah, you know. Yeah. And that's now the thing. you can't get away from it. And exactly, you know? like you said, you got to think of who you were exposed to, man. So if you're only around your family all the time, it makes perfect sense to me. Yeah. Kissing cousins, bro. That's not just an yeah. expression. I guess this, this is real <laughs> in our in our uh, you know home state of uh, you know. The U.S. of A. Or, you know, I, mean, I don't know what's going look on. At Cersei and Jamie Lannister. Straight up, you know. Bro. Well, what I was getting at with the dogs and the horses, man, <laughs> yeah. is they do it for power to keep lineage. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that's why humans would True do bloods. it as well. Yeah. They would, you know, it's pure blood. Yeah, I mean, if you, you go know? back into royalty, like, it, that's a lot, there's a lot back in As long as it's not from royalty. the same yeah. same womb, that's right, like the right. rule of thumb with yeah. breeding, like, when it comes to animals or humans. Right, right. It's crazy, man. Pretty sick. But uh, we got a little weird there for a second. I'm sorry about that. We're <laughs> we're gonna get back to kind of normal land. Uh, so we're we're gonna do some Raiders review now. Uh, we did our top five songs of 1982. I'll go ahead and kick it off. Uh, my favorite songs, top five of 1982, is "Heat of the Moment" by Asia because it is 
It's a good one. Hilarious. And, like, it's hilarious why I like it and what it, not even why I like it, but what it reminds me of every single time. 40 Year Old Virgin, whenever he's leaving her house after they, they're, like, at the end of the movie <laughs> yeah. when he's on his bike b- before he goes through the semi, and, like, this song plays and she's, like, following him in her car, you know what I mean? Like, I always think of that movie every single time I hear that song. So I, I think it's a really funny, like, you know, correlation with that. Uh, next one is Rosanna. Which, if you haven't heard that, you just need to get out of yes. here and just, you know, tune on off. Just don't even check back in anymore because Toto are, you know, super phenomenal, you know. Third is Hurt So Good by John Cougar Mellencamp because, you know, I guess I'm just a true redneck at heart and I like things like that, you know. <laughs> uh, next is Man Eater by John and Daryl. Hollow Notes, baby. Man Eater. Last but not least, waiting on a girl like you by foreigner, son. You got to keep it. You got to keep it sexy sometimes. You That's know, right. you got you got to rock with foreigner, baby. You know, this is a real thing. You know, it's episode thirty. We got to talk about some awesome bands here, bro. My foreigner. wife would not like that. She walked in the house and I was like, I've been waiting. <laughs> foreigner. And that's the thing, like foreigner, dude. They had so many like oh, specific. Dude good songs like yes. they're so specifically good you know yes. like you get so much out of it i guess yeah. you could say but that wraps up my top five i'm gonna let my man kick his off now all right my top five talking about kind of redneck i have to go with my man <laughs> willie nelson always <laughs> on my mind i love always on my willie, mind willie baby i can't understand half what he says and he just kind of makes a fool and so not the best voice in the world but i just um, love hearing it you know it's weird it's weird i don't, I don't even know, know what, what his attraction was I don't know. Like, what got him there? I guess maybe hard work, maybe just being there know. at the right time. But once you, it's just being one of those, friendly. it grows on you. It's kind yeah, of like Bob yeah. Dylan, too. Acquired taste. It's yeah, an acquired yeah. taste. Yeah. yeah. Bob Dylan's uh, a very good comparison right there, bro. Very I love comparison. Steve Miller Band. They're a little bit love before them. 80, uh, 83. Mm-hmm. 82. 82, my bad. Yeah, 82. You're good. Um, but Abracadabra was one of the later songs that came out, and uh, it's pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. for I like sure. That one. Absolutely. And then uh, Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran. Duran Duran. That's a, that's a banger right Gosh, there. Gosh, it's a great song. And then Don't Stop Believing by Don't Journey. Don't Stop That's like believing. The, everybody's guilty pleasure. It's an anthem, bro. Half people will be like, oh, God. I hate that song, and then go, it comes bump on the car, it. you got it. You got to sing. You gotta bump it. By, they're like in the closet, like listening yeah. to a disco. Yeah, you and, have like, to. Just and then, like, you know. My first crush bro. Yeah. Joan Jett. Joan Jett. That was my Bam. first crush. Put my age hold on, on is this. Hold on, is that the same? I was three. Hold on, uh, hold on. Joan Jett and the Heartbreakers, right? Yeah. So that was... I love rock and roll. I love rock and roll, so burn out. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how it starts. That's a riff. Yes. Okay, yeah. Joan Jett, and then what was the she other She also awesome... did Cherry Bomb. It, Cherry Bomb was on, it, uh, going back to Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, was yeah. On there. What was another uh, girl band at that time that was really, like, really Pretenders, awesome? Pretenders, Chrissy Lind. That's a good one, too. She's good. Them. The Pretenders. Not Hart. Hart was a little bit older than them, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Hart was a little bit older. There was another one I'm trying to think of, man. I'm going to have to look it up. You're I, breaking I, I, me I away from my first crush right here, bro. <laughs> that was my girl. I, now I find out she's she ain't into dudes anyway. Plus she's yeah. like twice my age, which is really old, hey, by the way. Yeah, she's uh, is she still. I alive? love rock and roll. Yeah, oh, I love man. rock and roll, dude. That that was a that was awesome. Dude, I've been playing on guitar here. Love it. I saw it on guitar MTV. Look at us. We're just MTV. looping here all through here. You know, <laughs> you got to rock that MTV That's right. through there. Son. That's right. That music I've seen videos, it and just bro. watching it and dancing. Swear, in my man. diaper. You know. Yeah, I remember. Like I said, I remember uh, playing. It I was hardcore. three. I'm probably, probably in a diaper. I was getting out of diapers. You know. Don't. Don't uh, comment, Mom. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I said, man, I remember playing on Guitar Hero. Super fun. I think it was on 2 or something, man. But I love Guitar Hero. That's something I'm going to talk about right now because, Dude, yeah, God, I was getting ready to say, we so got to talk about good. that. Here's why I so love it. Good. As someone my age who grew up with all this music that I felt like the younger generations aren't sure. going to get to know, yeah. knowing that people your age and younger oh, yeah. were exposed to such amazing Great songs. Music. Amazing songs. Never songs. Be recreated. I mean, like, you just go into, like, well, I mean, Guitar Hero, Rock Band, like, Beatles Rock Band. Yeah, I had that Brought one. a whole new love out for the Beatles of people who would never be exposed to it otherwise. I remember the first Guitar Hero I got was actually three. The first one I actually bought. Yeah. I remember getting it. It has Slash on the cover and yeah. two other people, Legends of Rock. And, uh, man, I played that game so much. Yeah. So much. Dude, exposed I so much music. Yeah. To people. I mean, the Ramones yeah, were the on Ramones. there. Were the first or second yeah. one? I can't remember. The Ramones I, I, were on there. I think it was the first one. But the second one, dude, it had Primus on it, yeah. Buckethead. It had, it, I think it said, I love, uh, like I said, I love rock and roll. I yeah, think it was, it was on, on there, maybe. It was on one of them. Uh, rock band was fun, dude. That's when they brought in the drums yeah. and singing and, and you know, like, yep. it, it was just. 
changed the game, man, for video games. Oh, like, yeah. Seriously. Like, oh, it yeah. was really, really, really impressive. And uh, I, it's crazy that we're talking about it now because I tried to go buy Guitar Hero, man, like, at GameStop. You know, I tried to go see if they had, like, a guitar or whatever. Yeah. They don't even sell them. Really? They don't sell Guitar Hero. They don't sell any – that that company shut down, like, discontinued either the company or Guitar Hero did I still sell. have my, like, limited edition, like, really? Beatles rock band That's crazy. Guitar. I had Beatles rock I band. I don't have man. Beatles rock band anymore, but I've yeah. got the guitar just yeah. sitting there, and I can't break myself away yeah. from getting rid of it. <laughs> it's just sitting there. Yeah, man. Like I said, I used to play the crap dude, we would have friends over. Oh, yeah, like, dude. Like a party. It's you're like, talking – I'm like, like, a great time. At the time, I'm, like, know? 28 or 30. Yeah. And I'm like inviting over other 20, oh, yeah. 30 year olds, people, dude. and we're just hanging out singing Beatles, you know. Straight up, that's, Straight that game was up, awesome, dude. So good, and it had all the best songs on it too. I, I like, realize could... I'm, I'm out myself as a giant nerd right now. Like, <laughs> I want to come over and play Beatles rock band. Hey man, want to come play Guitar Hero? Yeah, yeah, dude. It was so funny. Remember when uh, when South Park made fun of it? Whenever they like got like addicted to Guitar yes. Hero, everybody was playing it. That was really funny, man. But it was really like that, too. Like, I got addicted to Guitar Hero. Man. I was never like, into, was like, really being fun. good at it. I didn't really care really? about if I was good at it or not. I cared. I didn't care I cared at all. a lot. I, I just th- wanted I literally, I was playing on Expert, bro, with three fingers. I didn't even use my pinky. Like, I was literally just, I mean, nasty with yeah. it, man. I could probably jump on right now. Like, the last time I played, I went to my friend's house, and uh, I think he had been playing all day, bro. And it was, like, I think it was, like, Rock Band 2 or something. And I came over and hung out, and, like, we were chilling. I was like, yeah, I'm going to try it on, like, hard first, you know? Yeah destroyed it bro first time i played he was like bro you're really good he's like i've been playing on medium he was like you That's are me dude i was like it, easier dude. medium because i didn't care if i was good i just wanted yeah. to get through that song and hear the music you know oh man i, I exposed my kids to so much music too you know yeah, dude was, i used to know this one guy he's played with a controller he wouldn't even play with the guitar and he would be nasty bro because like essentially i mean the controller is just the guitar but like right, right. it's like you know r1 would be blue or like right. whatever and dude he would sit there and go hard like i could hardly i could he would beat me you know yeah. like and I and you could play with, with any control you could even uh you could even use the uh the dance the dance revolution oh really you could use that's the pad sweet, dude. like the direction sweet. pad and like yeah. dance to i'm like it's pretty legit it's weird but it's, it's legit it's too much i'd rather just rock the guitar because yeah. i just know that i'm pretty decent at it and yeah. it makes me want to go to the flea market and try to find one now that we're talking about it. Like, yeah. I'm going to invite people over to hang out and play rock band this weekend. We'll stream that. Believe that, bro. I'm down to stream that. Seriously, That's that'd right. be hilarious. Get people singing karaoke style. There we go. Um, but anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get into it, guys. Uh, before we get into it, episode 30, for the record, with my man, you already know we're bringing it funky tonight. Uh if you have a second while you're on here, please make sure to like this video, share this video, and go subscribe to the YouTube at TogetherFTR and just type that in. It'll be the first one. We need to get to 100 subscribers so we can get the custom URL. So if you guys can help us do that, I would thoroughly appreciate it, man. And also, before I get into this, I want to thank our sponsors today. I uh, just want to give them another thanks, Vanderclean, the Tri-State, uh, Huntington Web Solutions. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this episode. And the last thing I want to say is I'm wanting to have a guest uh, come on, but I'm going to do it like via video call. So anybody who wants to do that who doesn't live around here, even if you live around here, we can still do it just to test it. I don't really care uh, if you're busy or whatever. You know, people got lives. You know, I can't nope. always expect people to come you know, hang out and spend an hour of their time with me or whatever. Uh, so if you can do that or if anybody's interested in doing that, excuse me, just hit me up and we'll get it figured out, guys. Like, we'll test it and see what we can do and see what we have to do. I've been told, excuse me again, I've been told there's a software I can use called Zoom, so I'm going to check that out and see what's up. But I've also been told that unless you have a mic, because I would prefer if somebody had a mic, like, it'd be awesome if you could, you know, transfer your audio into a mic. But if you don't, then you can use headphones from, like, an iPhone or something, okay. you know, like, and that mic will be better than your yeah. phone mic, you know? Yeah. So that's what I've been, uh, you know, told. So that's what I'm going to go by or whatever, and we'll test it out. So if anybody wants to do that, just let me know. Hit me up, and I'd be glad to have you guys on. So... Next, we're going to go into uh, the first topic we have for you all today, and I'm going to let you kick it off, but the topic is the five things that you would tell yourself at 15 years old. If you could go back right now in the form you are and you know, know it's you when you come back, what would you tell yourself? I think I'd start out with uh, you've been on easy mode. Life is about to get tough, but like tough. buckle up, get ready. Uh, you're going to fall. 
Yeah. You're going to fall and just be ready to pick yourself up. Yeah. Because not everybody else is going to be there to pick you up all the time. Nope. You know, and that leads into my second one. Just while you have them, cherish your parents. Mm-hmm. Cherish your parents and, and, and living in somebody's house, no matter how overruling or however much you think they're the worst person in the world. You know, as long as life is beating hard you out every here. Every single day, yeah, punching yeah. you in your face, and they're not yeah. doing like malicious. They don't have malicious intent towards you. Yeah, but there's so many kids out there you that have parents do like that. Yeah, but then there's others who have parents who are just like love them too much, care too or much, like, too controlling. It's like, yeah, just know? just stop and go. I got it good. Got it good, man. There's I got it good because it's about to about get tough. Yeah, you know, straight up, dude. It's gonna get tough. I I, I love when I hear kids say like. uh Oh, I can't wait to be my own. I'm like, yeah, yeah. you enjoy you that. You think? Yeah. yeah. And, you think you want to be <laughs> it's, it's going to get crazy. Yeah. Um, get I, I'll go ahead and do all mine because I want to hear yours just because, you know. I got you. You know, sure. I'm going to go ahead and hit all mine, then, I, then, I'll, then we'll hit yours. Absolutely. Uh, uh, basically, kind of going off the same thing. You know, you have messed up. You will continue to mess up. Uh, I, I don't want to change that. I don't want the yep. old me to change any mistakes uh, as long as you learn from your mistakes. Yeah. That's what matters in life. Life Absolutely. is full of mistakes. I've made a ton. Everybody But does. if you learn from them, it's a it's a it's a well it's yeah, a I well mean, thought out it, thing, it, you know. It's weird, you know, yep. and, and like the whole thing about life is people don't realize that no matter what you do, no matter how sad or happy you are, it's gonna continue. Right. It right. will continue. It's not gonna stop for you, it's not gonna stop for anybody. Right. So you got to keep moving. And even as a teacher, I'm not even going to say, like, oh, you got to try harder in school. All that. I mean, I yeah. do think it's important. School is important. School, However, education is very, more than very that. Important. It's exactly, exactly. Education, but, but care knowledge. about yourself. Learn everything you can. That's yes. my fourth one. Learn everything you can. Knowledge really is power when they 100%. say that. It really is. Not just your grades, not just textbooks, but, like, really investigate things and, like, yeah. read about and learn things. Yeah. You know, you think about school, and it, it seems so kind of hokey when they want you to learn about history and about this, this stuff true. and that stuff. But when you get older, you're like, man, that stuff is, like, legit. Like, I, I, I need to know this it stuff. Means you know, you really want does. to know it. Yeah. When, you're in, when you're in that class, you don't care about it. No. People are like, man, I don't even care about this. What's it going to help yeah. in the real world? But you'll reflect on things like that. Yeah. Whether it just They're was, life lessons, man. Really That's what history is. It's life lessons. It's somebody, somebody messed up. Somebody, somebody messed did up. something bad. You somebody did something from good. people's mistakes. Exactly. Yep. That's what it's all about. And my last one. Real important here, 15-year-old me, remember this date, July 27th, 2019, mm-hmm. 1, 19, 31, 48, 61, 6. That's the Kentucky Powerball numbers mm-hmm. so that 15-year-old me can be rich when he's, when he's my <laughs> age, all right? That's my number five. I had to yes. get rich in the middle of my 15-year-old self, too, you know? Here's the thing, man. Uh, I wouldn't change anything about my life like – in the sense of, like, I wouldn't do anything differently. Right. But I do regret some things. I regret the way I treated some individuals. Right. So if I had to be honest, I wouldn't change anything about my life. Simp- like, in the sense of not doing anything differently besides, like, you know, spending more time with people I love that right. I know are going to die and stuff Absolutely. like that. You know, who I've lost throughout my life. Absolutely. So, yes, I would change that. But other than that, I wouldn't change, like, anything about it. I would just change how I treated people. because right. treating, I like it. You know, good. and that's the thing about it. You know, that's the only thing I ever regretted in my life and to this day, man. And, like, I feel like that, you know <clears> – <throat> If more people actually cared about how they feel about themselves, yep. we wouldn't be in such a depressive state, like in a, a hypersensitive state that we're in in our world. And look at how hypersensitive. You've got to feel bad for everybody, dude. Yep. Not, nobody feels bad for themselves. They feel bad for everybody else. So why wouldn't yep. you want to feel bad for yourself and start with you? And then maybe if you can't fix yourself, I understand. Some people do need medication. Yeah. And that, I think it should be last resort, in my yeah. opinion, when yeah. it comes to – self-diagnosed uh, diseases or whatever you want to call it, addiction or ADHD or, you know, some along those lines. You right. know, I don't think you should go for medication first. You know, I think it should be your last resort. But I do realize that some people do need medication to function well. And I also realize that some people need therapy, man. Like, I didn't I didn't always feel like this. I thought, yeah. oh, yeah, you're just being a chump, you know. Well, yeah. you don't need medicine, yada, yada, whatever, you, you know. But I realize that some people do. Not everybody. Your body gets sick. Your brain gets sick, yeah. too, you know. The brain is one of your biggest muscles, yeah. you know. Like, it's one of your hardest Soul working gets muscles. Sick, yeah. You, know? you need things. People need things, man. Everybody's different. But yeah. I feel like our hypersensitivity yeah. has to change or yeah. we're not going to be able to evolve oh, yeah. the way we need to. Right, right. We're too worried about the wrong things. You, you legit bad just hit people. me right here, though, with the whole, like, talking about, yeah. you know, the way we talk to people, though. Yeah. You know, the way we talk to people, the way we treat. Because, I mean, that kind of goes back to, I mean, I said I wouldn't change anything. But, yeah, 
I, I would, definitely I like, would, I, I regret the way I treated indiv- individuals. I regret, you know, I, I would have spent more time with my parents and, and, yep. and been kinder to them. I think about some of the times, like my mom, especially. My mom yeah. is the best person in the world, loves me to death, but yeah. I treated her bad sometimes when I was young and even yep. when I was a little older. Yeah, and that's when I, mean, I should have known like, better. You know, I, I lost, I lost my mom for those of the, for those that don't know, when I was thirteen years old, and I lost my dad when I was nineteen years old. Yeah. So like it, going into my teenage years, I lost my mom. Going right. out of my teenage years, right. I lost my dad. You know, yeah. so like it was like this weird wave that I was on. So I was in a very depressive state going in and to in and out of my right. teenage years, which is a very weird, it's a hard hormonal, time anyway. Yeah, awkward. Yeah, very self discovering. Uh, part of life I guess you right. could call it you know so I, I think that had a lot to do with my change in my life and who I am and stuff like that and you know why I view things the way I do and stuff yeah. like that so I, I definitely I, I would I would want to go back and spend more time with them but besides that I wouldn't change anything man right. but you know I, I, would totally like, I would like to have more time with my mom and dad for sure yep. you know and people need to realize that if your parents aren't like punching you in your face and they're not like really hurting you and stuff like that you know, you need to be good to your parents. Yeah. You need to support them and love them because people don't realize. And it took me; it, it literally took me until my parents were dead to realize that your parents are just people. They're not yeah. like these superheroes that they build themselves up to be and what society builds them up to be. They're humans just like us. Yeah, now they, you know, they your care. kids, you realize like yeah. it's, it's a struggle, man. Yeah. When it, you're they're a learning. Kid, you don't think like no. that. You're like, oh yeah, my parents just need to be there for yeah. me. They need to take care yeah. of me. They need to love me. Yep. But that's not how it goes. Humans are – that's why you have parents who don't care about their kids. You know, yep. humans don't – not every human is going to be the same. So if you put this pedestal on somebody and they're just not built for it or not cut for it, it don't matter. Right. And it's not going to change things, you know. And it take t- it took me a long time to realize that, you know, my parents were just people like me. They had dreams and they had – you know, they wanted to do stuff. They were sad about stuff. Things affected them differently than they affected yep. other people. So, like, when I realized that, it really just put me on, like, a, you know, life is short, man. I'm going to try to love everybody I can as hard as I can. Yep. But at the same time, I'm not going to waste my time with people. Right. You know, like, right. there's a balance you have to have. Yeah, and I think it goes you on know? to, I mean, you look at, like, some of the people you invest so much into when you're young, you know, you your friends look at and your groups and, and who's popular. You invested yeah. so much time and it's like, wow, Straight why up. did I invest that? They forgot about me. It's crazy, man. My parents never did, you know. See, so, that, that kind of goes love you, into, mom. yeah, hey. I appreciate you. Believe that. You got to love your mom, man. You got to yep. love your, you know, everybody needs to treat their parents with respect, man. Like I said, if they're not doing horrible stuff to you, people need to be better to their yep. parents, man. But my five things, uh, first thing is learn about banking and taxes. If I could go back and be like, hey. 15-year-old me. This is me. I'm 23 right now. I need to tell you these things. I'm not lying to you. I'm not making this up. This isn't some random person telling you this. This is you, literally. Learn about banking and taxes. Learn about those things because they're crucial to your life, and nobody teaches you unless you take the elective in school. So if you don't sign up for that elective, you will not be taught unless your parents are just into ta- you know taxes or they own a bank or something, you know, which is – Unlikely, you know. Yeah. More parents need to teach their kids about taxes. Yep. More people need to encourage their children to take a banking and taxes type of class. You know, at least you know one semester, two semesters, or whatever it is. Uh, second time is don't waste your time with anything ever. If I could go back and tell myself, look, don't waste your time with people who are, you know, it's like pulling teeth to get them to help you with something. Yeah. Don't waste your time on people. Don't waste your time on projects that are going nowhere. If you know it's going nowhere, you have to get out of there. No Go way to cut your, time. your losses. Yeah, no one to cut your losses. Because, I, I mean, I, I was, I'm still learning about that, man. To Last year, literally, there was things that happened that yeah. I should have cut my losses earlier yep. with people. I should have got out earlier and not and quit fooling with them. But... You know, it is what it is, man. You live and you learn, and it's it's just life. Yep. Uh, third thing I would tell myself is you need to learn about agriculture and farming. You need to get all the information you can get on these two things. Like, you have to know what is going on when it comes to agriculture and farming. Because if things were to hit the fan and something were to happen in this world and you can't go to the grocery store and you can't go and buy stuff from the gas station, if that were to happen... Because it possibly could. It happens yeah. every couple thousand years to humans. This is just how it goes. Something catastrophically destroys us, and we go down to like 3,000 population, then we rebuild. Yeah. Like it happens. It has happened. So, like, you need people who can 
teach other people how to farm correctly, irrigation. You know, you need to be able to farm livestock the correct way. You need to be able to tend to them, tend to your fields, you know, so on and so forth. So I feel like that's a very important thing in life that I wish I would have taught myself. That's, that's a great know, one, man. It's, it's, myself, it's different. You know? I like it. I think all the time, like, you know, it's something crucial. like that happens. It's like, to society. I'm a history teacher. Like, mm-hmm. what skills am I going to offer? Well, you've got plenty you of know, skills. And, you I know, mean, i got other skills, itself. but you yeah, got mistakes it's true, but from. it ain't going to help my survival. You know no, what I'm saying? It's uh, not. You're I'm not, right. I'm not going to be it's, teaching you about stuff in order. Hey, could, really I, could I get some money for this lesson plan, please? <laughs> no, uh, but. Not money. I don't want money. I want some bread and some, that, some water. That, that chicken over there. Yeah. No, but here's the thing you can think about, though. You know about ancient civilizations oh, yeah. and you know about the pe- things that people have done. So you might have the knowledge. Yeah. Even if you can't do it yourself, you might be able to tell somebody how oh, it needs yeah. to be done. I figured it out. You know, like it would get figured out, you know? Uh, but I feel like that's crucial to a, a human. A human, I, like I feel like we need to know stuff like that. We need more people like that. We need more agriculture and farming people. Um, the fourth thing is the f- uh, that I would go back and tell myself is the friends you have now won't be your friends for much longer. People change, act accordingly. Because I had people telling me this, my brother being one of them, and I just, you know, oh, yeah, whatever, man. These are going to be my homies for life. You know, they down, baby. We a crew. You know, we bout it. You know, Bob, Bob I'm being stupid. I'm a punk teenager. You know, I'm 15. You know, whatever. So he's telling me this. I'm like, whatever. But if I came back at 23 and came back to a 15-year-old me, it was like, hey, man, look. Your, your friends, friends are chumps. Your friends, bro. They are not, they are not for you, man. Like, yeah. they're, they're not for you. You need to worry about the people who yep. really are going to stay there, which is going to be like two people maybe. Yeah. So, you know, I would have told myself that. The fifth thing I would have told myself is to get into a exercising slash competitive fighting class. Okay. So rather it be personal training, right. CrossFit, MMA, kickboxing, uh, playing Aikido. Tekken does not count, right? Yeah, playing Tekken don't oh, okay. count. You're My working bad. your thumbs. You know, like I, I would have told myself, like, look, you need to join – you know, you need to join something that is, you know, teaching you, you know, whatever. Right. I would have done right. that. That's that would have been. It's just good values and like. And, yeah, uh, it's good. It's good to learn. Discipline. Things. It's, yeah, it's self discipline as well. It's just real good discipline. Straight up. Uh, so that wraps it up for what we would tell our 15 year old self. If you guys want to join in on this, just comment, man. Drop something on here. If you, had, what would you tell your your 15 year old? Last thing I'd tell 15 year old me is suck it up. <laughs> Get it together, loser. Yeah. I don't even care about your feelings. And your God. hair looks stupid. Girl oh beard. yeah, bro. I, <laughs> dude, when I was 15, oh, I think I shaved my head still, bro. I was still rocking the short hair. I was looking dumb, bro. You should also dumb. tell 15 year old you to be good to Mr. Lambert. Believe that for real. Be good to your teachers, man. Come on now. So the next thing we're going to get into that is very, very important that I did not realize how it worked entirely until about maybe two weeks ago. It was definitely this month, and I was not aware. I I don't vote federally because I've always felt – I've only been able to vote once. You know what I mean? It was this time. I wasn't even – because the last one was – yeah, I wasn't even old enough, so it didn't matter. So I did not vote federally, and you know, a guy I talked to is like, "Yeah, you're a part of the problem, yada yada." And I was like, eh, "Not really, because I mean, they did come out and prove, not prove, but pretty much they know that there were voting scandals and voting uh, tampering in the booths with John, the John McCain election and the Hillary Clinton election. <sighs> Maybe both times. I don't even know. <laughs> like, it, it, you know, it's allegedly, I guess, but." Once I – yeah, and, and Al Gore too maybe, you know, with George W. So when I – you know, I was telling him that or whatever. Long story short, I did not know exactly how the Electoral College worked. I was under the impression that the Electoral College literally took the popular vote into consideration but then made their own decisions, which is – it's it's not – that's not true. That's not entirely true. It kind of – it depends on it to an extent, but it doesn't. Like – so the guy explained it to me. I was talking to him. You know, he was like, this is how it works. And I was like, wow. I was like, you know, I was ignorant to that subject. And for those of you who don't know, ignorant means it doesn't mean stupid. It means you were ill-informed. You were not taught. You have not been told this. You are not – you're lacking the knowledge of. So I was ignorant to the subject. I will definitely be voting now even though there's another thing that we're about to talk about that it, it kind of influences your votes as well. Um, but anyways, for those of you who don't know, your vote does matter, and everybody who's in my generation and younger than me and older than me, we, if you have the right to vote and you're not felonious 
or you are not a legal immigrant or, you know, uh, whatever it may be that is stopping you from doing that. If you have the right still to vote, you need to go vote. Like, Absolutely. You know, and I voted Absolutely. locally, you know, because like, yeah. I knew that would matter like, I mean, in my heart, you know, like I knew that would yeah. matter because those votes come down to one and two. Like, it could be one or two votes and it could win. I was under the impression before that that federally it wouldn't happen like that, which, uh, on, depending, I mean, it's it gets a little hairy. And it's state elections, do not forget state elections. It's yeah. huge, too. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a very... Natu- that's my favorite word. Gubernatorial. That's governor. Wow, Isn't that, that weird? That's Guber? crazy. Gubernatorial. That, yeah, that's, that's a wild, governor. Man. Yeah. But it's, it's crucial. It really is. And I was not that's aware of that. that. And we were talking about yeah. it. And I was like, you know, dude, I, if I'm wrong, yeah. I'll tell you I'm wrong. Like, hey, yeah. I, I'm... I'm a monkey to this. I don't know nothing. You know, I'm a yeah. chimp, bro. I'm just some moron talking. I don't yeah. know anything. I'm not a reputable source. I'm just trying to, like, figure things out as I right. go. He explained it to me. He was spot on with all of the things he was talking about besides him denying the scandals, which. There's always <sighs> a scandal. It's just which ones get caught. Yeah, exactly. So Somebody's it's always weird. being shady. It's, it's real squirrely out here. But anyways, I'm going to let you take over from here and on how kind of electoral college, break it down a little bit. And let them know about how we talked about how, like, the swaying of, like, red or blue, pretty much. Okay, so, you I mean, know? basically, when you are voting for uh, president and vice president, um, you're basically voting not for them, but you're voting for the party they represent. Yes. Uh, so, where your state votes is the, the actual electors that go in. So, let's say, for instance, if your state has a certain population, it gives them five yeah. um representatives Every different on how then they're going to have the five is. they're going to have five electors plus two everybody it's like has based plus on population two, right based on population okay. so it's whatever your representatives are plus two yeah so uh kentucky i think right now has seven they've had eight goes back and forth depending on population sure. every 10 years so basically you are electing those electors um those electors usually mm-hmm. then go in to the actual electoral college election and yeah. cast their ballots for where their state falls. Yeah. So if the state is the popular vote within the state is red, then those are Republican uh, electors yeah, who are in there. They're going to do it. They just so got those. Are there times votes? where there have been electors who have voted? You know, they they were nominated because they were Republican, but then they went in there and voted Democrat. Mm-hmm. That has happened, but okay. in such a small amount. Sure. That it's never changed sure. anything. Yeah, it's not. Um, it's some not electors, dramatic. there's one a couple of years ago um, where they said they weren't going to vote at all. They actually just really? chose not to vote uh, wow. and, and just changed a little bit of the outcome. Yeah. It wasn't a big thing or anything. Sure. But some states have laws where you can't do that. Some states have laws where you have to vote. Yeah. And that's the thing people don't realize. People don't realize that elections mm-hmm. are completely ran by states, whether it's a local election, whether it's a, a state election, yeah, whether it's a federal, local. it's ran by the, the state. Federal, so I thought it was. I, that's I, I why we that. have it's because I mean, think about this like the, the ballots and everything, sure. that's all different. Um, whether or not you can, I can't ever think of the name of this, but whether or not you can get your rights back to vote as a felon, yeah. that also, how that works out wow. is also state. Hmm. So we, we, allow, <clears throat> we allow states to, to deal with that. Yeah. Um, but as far as like the way that the you have the popular vote, the popular yes. vote, yeah, it's important. However, what you have to realize is if we only had the popular vote, uh-huh. then you would completely shut down those small communities that, that feel like they just don't matter at all. That's true. Um, with the electoral vote, I mean, you, some some states who wouldn't have hardly any power actually have more power because of the electoral. We don't realize that. Like really? uh, for instance, Wyoming, okay. their population is so low. They only have three electoral votes, wow. but their population is so low that they really don't even earn that one, that first one. Dang. They, everybody gets two free. Okay. But they really don't. Their population is so low, they don't even really have enough to even hit that first one. They get it for free, really. Wow. So they get three, even though their population is like half of other places that have three. Yeah. For instance, that's uh, crazy. Uh, Washington, D.C., that's uh-huh. an interesting uh, 23rd Amendment. Up until the 23rd Amendment, uh, D.C. couldn't vote. If you lived in Washington, wow. D.C., you could not vote for the president who lived in your neighborhood. Wow. Yeah. That is crazy. Because they're not a state. They're a district. And because elections are ran by the state, That's they crazy. were outside of a state. Sense, dude. Yeah. Wow. So if you go to D.C. now, the license plates there yeah. still say 
this old Maryland, saying. Or what is it? What is DC it? is its own thing. Okay, so, so I mean, if you live there, you get your you, own. You are in your own license plate. Yes, like your that, license plate crazy, says Washington man. DC, and the, the motto on it uh -huh. says uh, "No taxation with a representation." Yeah. Because they were upset, they were paying federal taxes, but they can't vote. But they couldn't oh, vote federally. Man. Yeah. So let me ask you this: the we we had just recently in the past couple of years made like other countries pretty much ours. Correct, like you know, like the whole Puerto Rico thing or whatever. Like we kind of like. I mean, that's not recent. I mean, that's you're, well, that's, you that's been I mean, around. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, like it's it's recently like in the past few years it's come out to like okay, this is pretty much like our country kind of like to an extent like that and like right. uh, some other Central American places where we have bases and stuff like right. This. We have that's yeah, what we I have, mean. Yeah, like yeah, so like we pretty much are kind of running these places. Do you right. think that there will ever like you think they will uh, include their votes eventually? Puerto Rico is an interesting one. Well, like, I mean, Puerto Rico, I, I and I mean, there, there's a lot more. I mean, for there. instance, uh, I can tell you an interesting one: American Dominican Samoa, Republic? American. Well, Dominican Republic, they're a separate country. Okay, they're, they're separate. not ours. Okay, they're okay, they're a separate you. country. Okay. But like, there's Samoa, and then there's American Samoa, and they're yeah. two different islands, and two different sets of islands. But, and interesting but, thing with it, America. Yeah, go ahead. But like with the Puerto Rico thing, was yeah. I was that was I right though? Like you know, we're, it's not it's not I mean, like our country. They have culturally, they're a very different country. Had been separate part of Spanish, but. But yeah, I mean, do I think that one day they might be voting with us? Yeah, that's I, what I mean. I do like, eventually. You think like it, I do eventually. Eventually, it's going to come. Like we're going to like kind of just like absorb them a little bit. You I mean, know we kind of. I mean, kind of I mean, have. It's kind of messed up thing because have, they're part like, of us. Other countries, but like, yet, similar. To but them. yet, you know, when you see someone, like, people t people in this country tend to think of someone who's Puerto Rican as being like a foreigner, and it's like, yeah. dude. They're American. They're literally, Puerto Rican yeah. because literally they're part of us. That's, that's like what, saying, that's what I'm saying. Like Puerto Rico is oh, kind of a part of us, bro. Like go back to Alaska. <laughs> I mean, go I mean, back to Hawaii. Yeah, you know, get out of here. We don't need you, you don't, in your hula skirts. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't need you, Eskimos. God, get out of here, Lilo and get Stitch. Get out of here, bro. But yeah, I mean, like that. Yeah. That's you know, I just figured I'd ask that because yeah. I wasn't for sure. Well, like you Americans. Know, what here's the crazy on. thing: American Samoa is the same situation as Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. You know, but American Samoa per capita. Mm -hmm. Puts out more U.S. military members wow. than any state, what? Any community. This is but guess crazy. what? They can't vote for president. That's what I'm saying. Like they have no electors. Yeah. They have no congressmen. Now they have. They do elect. So does Puerto Rico. They do elect representatives. Okay. Who go to Congress? Uh -huh. But they can't vote. What kind of nonsense is that? Your vote is your voice. You I basically mean, literally, say, hey, if you have the right to do so, we basically see, are going to give you this thing that doesn't work. Doesn't, yeah. It's like yeah. here, you can have an yeah, iPod. We're fair. Everybody it here, play. yeah, it doesn't play any music. It has no music. You yeah. just look at it. Just I like you out. just as much as your brothers and sisters. I yeah. got you all iPods. Yeah. Yours just is made out of wood. <laughs> it's, it's made that out sounds of plastic. like separate but equal, bro. The, you know, uh, you know. Yeah. we had to find. Yeah. And separate but equal. Blacks and whites had equal train cars. One yeah. of them just didn't have seats or air conditioning. <sighs> God, it's horrible, man. Horrible. It's like, but I figured I'd ask what yeah. you thought about that. Yeah. You know, maybe one day. Those and it's not just like Puerto right Rico. now. There's probably other, not the best time, but yeah, yeah. There's other countries day. that are like they're pretty much ours, kind of like they're a yeah. part of us, you know. Like, yeah. you know, so I feel like why would they not have a vote? That would make yeah. more I mean, sense. Yeah, you know? Guam, Guam's an Guam, interesting exactly, too. Same thing, you know. So, same thing, dude. Yeah. So like, you but know, I mean, if you're born in those places, you're a U.S. citizen. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That's crazy to me that you could be born there, go fight for our military, but you can't vote. Yeah. Or you can vote, but it doesn't count. Here's another weird thing. If you get in trouble and you're from Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. you can be deported back to Puerto Rico. What? How does that work? I, I've never oh understood that. That makes God. sense to me. That's like I get out of town oh. and get in trouble, and they're like, we're sending you back to Kentucky. You're gone. You go are back deported to from New York. Go back like to your you. holler. We don't like you here. Wow, that yeah. is insane. Anyways, I've been trying to interrupt you with the Electoral <laughs> College, but I wanted to ask that before I yeah. forgot because I was yeah. curious about Puerto Rico. Yeah. So, anyways, you were saying we, – we're uh, last thing we were talking about, you were telling uh, how the – you know Popular sways. electoral, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, well, well, I can't talk. <laughs> uh, what a lot of people don't realize with the Electoral College mm -hmm. is people always say, well, your vote doesn't matter because – uh, so and so won the popular vote. Happens all the time. Like uh, Hillary Clinton and Al Gore. Yeah, they had won Hillary, the popular vote right. in their um, elections. What we don't people don't realize is it's happened five or six times. That's it. I didn't know. I already five I knew about times. Al Gore and Hillary Clinton. That's and, the only and, two I know. But about. if you look at our lifetimes, things are so divided right now politically oh, yeah. oh, that yeah. it's gonna happen more and more. Up. For oh, years, now, it didn't happen. I mean, 100%. six times in our country's entire almost two hundred fifty years. Yeah, six times. 
That's it. That's, and it's happened twice years, I mean, that's, twice that's in minimum. your lifetime. Literally. You know, that's yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Hillary yeah. Clinton, Before yeah. that, you'd go like 50, 60 years. Before yeah, you see it'd be big gaps. Like but you said, how with, does that happen? People it's always say, like, oh, it's, it's not fair, popular vote. You know, they don't count it. They do count the votes. People don't realize count it, but it doesn't. To... It doesn't matter. Like right. it matters, but it doesn't. Like it matters. It matters because then you know what the people wanted, but it doesn't matter. It's on a state level, right? Like we talked about, and I didn't realize that. Right. Like I realized it, but I didn't know the like inner details of it. I guess. I mean, it's, it's kind of like if you know, say like your neighborhood was voting on something. Mm-hmm. Each house was worth a certain number of points yeah. based off the number of people that lived there. That's the best way. It's to the same kind of thing. That's the best. But if a house is divided. Then even though half of that house doesn't like it, that whole house wins, you know their their vote. So let me yeah. back up. That maybe that analogy wasn't all that useful. But it let me, makes let me sense. Say, let me it say may, this. No, it makes more sense it, that way, bro. Using it on like a house and community. Yeah, I mean it's the same kind level. of thing. But I mean, if you look at it, let's say for instance in an election, I'm running against you, and every state that I win, yeah. I win by a landslide. I win like 99% to one. Then you would get all those electoral votes, correct? I would get those states' electoral votes. But yeah. here's the thing. I don't get any bonus points because I won 99% yeah, it to one. Matter. All it matters I'm is you get that one I'm just getting a lot more. of popular votes. You get that but one Let's more. say every state you win, you win 51% to 49. Mm-hmm. In the long run, because I'm winning by landslides in mine, I'm losing by a smidgen. Yeah. I'm going to get a lot more popular votes. Yeah. But you could end up winning, winning. more states. Because I, you have the you electoral. You barely eat them all out. Vote. Right? You just barely won those. Yep. So then you end up with a lot less votes than I have. Wow. But you won the game. It's kind of like this. Think of it this way. You might have a team mm-hmm. who their point differential, I think of like a football team. Yeah. Your point differential, you might have scored a lot more points than the other opponents. Yeah. Or let's say that like your team, let's say your team, uh, uh, they won all their games mm-hmm. that they won by a lot. Yeah. So their points per game is huge. And they lost Super My Bowl. team won three to zero. They just have a good kicker, and they kicked a field goal every game. But they won every single game. Yeah. But they didn't score enough. The same kind of concept. Yeah. You can be. You can be the. But they didn't go. The, the, you might not have the best the record. Deal. You but, know what but I mean? You, like yeah. You, you, your team might not have won the the NBA championship. However, you might be the points leader. Yeah. Same Straight kind up. of idea. Yeah. So, like I said, yeah, it's, it doesn't. It's not about. It's not about who who scores the most. It's about who gets that last like big right. like championship. I apologize so for going to sports analogies as a history <laughs> teacher. I'm sorry, so many of us do that. So that is funny. I tried with the neighborhood. But, it's been <laughs> but that's the breakdown of the electoral college, and I was not aware of those things. I hope you guys are more aware of these things now. Um, Please you know, get out and vote. We got to get out and vote, man. Because if we don't vote, then we're taking, we're just letting people go through. We're not changing. Here, here's anything. what we have to realize: people between the ages of like sixty mm-hmm. to dead always vote. Oh yeah, so they're always. gonna have all the influence. They they have it all. Mm-hmm. People our age, eighteen to. I mean, 18 I mean, to 55, dude. Yeah. I mean, honestly. You yeah. know what I mean? In between I mean, there. People in that age of, that, where votes really change something that really affect us, yeah. I mean, it, it changes our life for a long time. Yeah. We're not voting in that number. It's no. not always. It's like, oh, let's get out and vote. And then some of us go do it, and some of us are like, meh. Yep. I'm, just I'm not, not going to go lie, today. man. I, uh, and some of us I was will, one of those people. You know, no, I, no more, though. It's yeah. happening, dude. And also explain how important the primaries are as well. Yeah. We talked about how... The primary might be more important than the actual big election to a degree. It, it really is. I mean, the primaries is, is basically you're getting to pick Who's who is run. actually going to run. I mean, yeah. it's huge, and people huge. just don't go. They just choose to not go. I mean, every election is important. I think local elections are super important because that affects your daily life. Local, definitely. I mean, I'm definitely biased on this one, but, like, talking about the governor, yeah. gubernatorial. That's my key word for today. Yeah. Gubernatorial election is huge. I'm biased because yeah. I'm a teacher. And it really affects me because yeah, I'm a state we, employee. We got but, Mitch McConnell's. We got him. Well, that's 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 Bevin. whole different. That's federal. Be- we Bevin got, though we got, is. We, we got all these true. bad people. I'm talking. I was just talking yeah, Kentucky keep, in general. Keep me out of Bevin. Because Mitch McConnell, he's you don't a, want to represent, go there. a representative of Kentucky, correct? Yes. And then Matt Bevin, he's a senator. Governor. He's a senator. Okay, he's a senator. And we've got from Rand Paul. Kentucky. Right. Okay, but he's a federal. He's, yeah, he's a U.S. senator. Okay. But we also don't forget that we also have state senators. But he's over Kentucky, though, right? Right. Like, right. Okay, we send two senators, asking. but people always get confused because we have U.S. senators, uh-huh. Rand Paul and McConnell. McConnell's okay. the senior of the two, and then we also elect state him. senators. 
So we have For state each senators. Each individual state? Each individual state has, has their own senate. Senator? No, we have several oh, okay, senators okay, okay. who work with the governor. Gotcha. And they're the ones who write our state laws. Gotcha. The governor vetoes. It's the exact same okay. thing as federal law. Okay. Except that you have the oh, governor. And you, there's no vice governor. It's called lieutenant governor. Lieutenant governor. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So Mitch McConnell is a part of the U.S. Senate. He's a part of the U.S. Senate, yes. Who is over Kentucky. He's he's the one who influenced our federal laws. Okay. Yeah. And you have senators who are, who we also elect. And the thing is, is like people, people will just vote, oh, I like that name. I'm going to vote for this person. And have no idea who they're voting for on state senate. And those state senators, you got to realize, they're the ones writing laws that affect our daily lives. Yes. Big time. And here's another thing, you know, with the whole Mitch McConnell thing, dude. They had a comparison, like, when he started. Like, when he started his po- his political uh, wave, I guess you could call it. His net worth. And yeah. then and now. Yep. Bro, it was like $800,000 more. Yeah. Maybe maybe almost a, a million dollars. Yeah. More oh, yeah. oh, I'm sure. than what he was worth. Oh, yeah. That was that a long time ago. That guy's been in office in. almost as long as I've been alive. Literally. He's been raking like, in the money. I don't. It's ridiculous. I can't tell you. Who was in the office before him? Literally. Because I wasn't old enough to Which care. Which is horrible because, man, and when it comes to Congress and Senate, age. I think I think all of them, even down to local, should be a four-year bid just yeah. like everybody else, dude. Senate, These guys have been Senate there for 30 and, years. And, yeah, they need, they need dude, term limits. They we need, need term we limits. need to change it out. Yep. You can't have – got to get new blood in there, man. You can't yep. have the same narrow-minded person not thinking outside the box at all ever – it, it, nothing's gonna change. Yep. Nothing's gonna get better. So, I don't know though. But that that, that wraps up the electoral college, man. Like, if you guys don't know about that, now you do. Be look sure it to up. Go vote. What you don't know, look it up. Yeah. Um, be sure to go back and listen to this again, and go check out yep. your own information and in your states because states are different. Every state's different. Yeah, like I was saying, the states a little bit different. About, like Maine and I didn't say that. Maine, Maine and Nebraska yeah. are different. They uh, they don't win all their states' votes. They split them up. So. Pretty different. wild, man. But yeah, uh, some new movies coming out, which uh, one of them's already out right now. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is out now in theaters, uh, directed by Quentin Tarantino, uh, starring roles with Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. It's actually their first time ever doing a movie together. Oh, wow. And Tarantino's directed that's it. Cool. So that's cool. That's really cool. awesome. Uh, and also, Hobbs and Shaw, Fast and Furious Presents, uh, comes out today, actually, August 1st. Technically comes out on the second, but your midnight showings will be coming out today. So make sure to go check that out too, guys. And then we got It Chapter Two, September sixth. September sixth, bro. It Chapter Two, baby. I'm we excited. All float bro. down here, <laughs> Georgie. <laughs> I'm excited to see it, man. Yeah. The first one was pretty good. Yeah, it was all right. It wasn't too bad. And I like, uh, I like uh, the Bill Hader's going to be in it. James McAvoy. You got some, you got some awesome yeah. actors in it, dude. Uh, and also, I'm pretty sure. Let me look it up before I say it. But we got Dustin Poirier and Khabib fighting in Dubai in the UFC. Possibly, you know the UFC; they change it up sometimes. Yeah. But I'm gonna look up uh, Khabib and Dustin Poirier. I think it's September. I'm not even gonna say because I don't want to mess it up. But it's in September. I do know that. Let's see here. September seventh, Saturday, baby, fighting in Dubai. They're the main event. So whoever whoever wins this in lightweight, like Khabib, this is like his – he's holding the belt, bro. If Dustin Poirier beats him, he takes the belt. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. So, like, this is a crucial – it's going to be on pay-per-view, man. So whoever, you know, you guys are into uh, – you know, UFC and stuff like that. Definitely got to check that one out. And like I said, it's pretty crazy it's going to be in Dubai, man, because, I mean, that's Muslim territory. Yeah. Khabib is Muslim. So if Dustin Poirier goes there and beats him, they better get out quick. He better have a helicopter on standby. He better hit him with the Kim Possible, bro. Hit him with the Batman, the grappling. I don't know, man. Bro. Dubai, like, Dubai, there is one God. It is money. That's true. It that's true. Money. That's true. But that you know like, that's Muslim territory, though. Yeah, that's like that's like enemy territory. It's like saying New York extent. City is the land of Christians, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know money, as well as I do. Money is you're the right. one God you're right, right you're there. Right. You know? But you know as well as I do, bro, if that man wins in Dubai, it yeah. might get a little rowdy. Oh, yeah. It might get a little crazy. He oh, better yeah. get out pretty quick. Because like I said, I mean, dude, the Muslims train different. Be Khabib, like UK that guy, fans, they're gonna be burning oh, couches. Bro, that guy's a monster. He is seriously a monster. Khabib's man. undefeated. Dude. Oh yeah, twenty-seven and zero. Twenty-seven and zero, bro. I don't know how to say his last name. I'm not gonna try, but he is a bad dude for real. 
So, yeah, new movies that are out. Also, uh, before we wrap this one up, I just wanted to go ahead and read some things off to you guys. NASA just hired SpaceX to figure out how to refuel ships in space. That's killer. Dude, so cool for science. And I'm going to go ahead and say this before I move on. Before the Flood is a documentary on Netflix about Leonardo DiCaprio learning about the environment, yada, yada. Long story short, he goes to Elon Musk. They're talking. Elon Musk has built a... I'm going to look it up first before I – I don't want to mess it up. But he built this thing called a Gigafactory. All right, so a Tesla Gigafactory. Let me see how big it is. How big? The the Tesla Gigafactory is – my bad. I, I was going to say I was going to say 1.5. 1.9 million square feet, which houses approximately 5.3 million square feet of operational space across several floors still. The Gigafactory, the Gigafactory is about 30% done. That was in – it doesn't even say. But, like, that's what they're working on. So, like, Elon Musk, you know, whatever, him and Leonardo DiCaprio, they're hanging out. He shows them his Gigafactory, and what he goes to say is – it's for renewable energy. Like, that's what it's going right. to be for or whatever. Or, like, it has to be, like, that big or whatever. So, like, the thing what they're doing is he said – Elon Musk said if we can build 100 1.9 million square feet buildings like that, they can, you know, uh, you know, get the renewable energy working. Right. We can stop global warming. Yeah. We can literally reverse it. Yeah. But he said Tesla is not big enough to fund 100 of them. And it's in Nevada? It's in uh, – oh, it's somewhere it's in, in the desert. It's yeah. somewhere in the it's desert. In, I know that. It's I big, think I it was in Nevada. Yeah. Dude, it's big though, man. Seriously. You can hide it, all kinds of stuff out in Nevada. Oh, yeah, bro. But here's the thing. Storm the Gigafactory. Is... They can't stop us all. <laughs> but I'm cool with Elon Musk. I want, I, I want oh, to be yeah, cool with this guy. Real. I want yeah. him to be president for oh, real. Yeah. But here's the thing. He said that literally this is the biggest infrastructure that's ever been created. Really? 1.9 million square feet. In comparison, it was bigger than the Eiffel Tower. It was bigger than uh, – I don't even know. A couple coliseums and stuff, yeah, bro. Yeah. But like in That's Nevada. Yeah. It's, it's in okay, Nevada. Okay. You're right. Um, but yeah, dude. They said He said if you can build 100 of these, we can stop global warming. Literally cool. reverse That's climate cool. change, yeah. bro. Because look, if you see the picture right here, it's got all the it's got all of them, bro. Yeah. And it's a big hookup for renewable energy. That's crazy. Crazy, man. Next thing is, for those of you local people, Jim's Steak and Spaghetti House now accepts credit cards, debit cards, and Apple Pay. They have never accepted that, and they've been open since the 1960s in Huntington, West Virginia. That's crazy. They've been cash only. I cash mean, like, only? Yeah. 1960s, bro. That's crazy. That is literally 60 years ago. Yeah, it's like, oh. If they started in 1960. You can trade and barter there or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Bring some buttons. I brought, I brought in this pig. <laughs> I brought can some I have limp. some spaghetti? Can I get a, can I get a, half, I'll give you a half a calf. I got you, man. Yeah. But Do they nah, take dude. bottle caps? Crazy, bro. Like, crazy. They they just now started doing it That's this crazy. week. Crazy. Like, weird to really think about, man. Uh, it's, I'm uh, just happy for the for them, you know. They're seriously, getting with the times. Yeah, keep up with the times, know? bro. Keep up with the times. We need landmarks like that. Yeah. You know, that started, you know, that's been that's been Next week, we're, since he's going to tell you how uh, they finally got rid of the cup and strings telephone. They're going with rotary phones now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Indoor bathrooms. <laughs> you don't have to go out back no more. Yeah. We, we can use the potty inside. That's great. Uh, and the last thing, it's good food though. Let me just say that. I'm, yeah, I'm oh, dogging yeah, on dude. being a little oh, backwards. One, oh yeah, we're man. just we're just being silly. They're that's phenomenal, some killer dude. food. And, and uh, you know, know food. one of the I'm last things boy. I want to talk about today is uh, the uh, it's official now that the Baltimore murder rate is worse than Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala. So things are bad right now in Baltimore, man. Let's let's send some good energy. You know, if you guys are Christian, you pray. You know, pray for Baltimore. There's some bad stuff happening right now. Uh, you know, it's just a sad time. But, you know, hopefully... Do you think Central America would stop us at the border if a bunch of Baltimore residents started going into Central America? <laughs> oh, no, we can't have you here. You're dangerous. <laughs> like, no, we can't America's have you here. America's sending Americans. us their worst through yeah. from Baltimore. Seriously, bro, it's crazy, though, That's man. That's rough, man. Well, I, I mean, New Orleans used to be the murder... Uh, Murder capital. Like, yeah. That was the murder capital for a long time. A lot of places have, man. Kingston, Jamaica. Louisville, Louisville Kingston, was. Jamaica was a murder yeah. capital for years. Oh, yeah, dude. It's, it's crazy, man. Yeah. Crazy to think. But, yeah, it's been a great episode, guys. Once again, make sure to go check out us, you know, on YouTube. Make sure to go to www.togetherftr.com. You can purchase merch on there. You can check out the episodes. 
Subscribe on YouTube, all that good like stuff. Like and subscribe. Like Episode and subscribe, 30, baby. baby. Episode 30, bro. It's, it, we 30 in, son. That's good. This is crazy, man. I'm blessed. I can't thank everybody enough. As you see, we just got the new tapestry over here. My boy Charizard. Charizard. Um, Charizard. Shout out to the sponsors. Uh, they actually paid for that, you know, so that was really cool. Uh, if you guys, if, if anybody knows any sponsors that want to, you know, want to you know, join our sponsorship opportunity, man. Just hit me up. I'll let you guys know the details. Uh, you pay per episode. Um, you don't have to pay every single episode. It's an episode episode basis. So just inbox me. Let me know what's going on. It's Together FTR for the record. Episode 30. We tuning out, man. I really appreciate you coming. And uh, I hope you guys have a blessed night. Peace.